Hello, I'm Drawing Pin, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Empires of the Undergrowth. And you might be thinking, Pin, what the hell's an Empires of the Undergrowth? Well, this is an awesome, I'm going to say RTS game, but it probably fits into several little genres. But uh, RTS is probably the closest thing I can go with. And we'll just so uh, we'll just go with the RTS uh, genre. And what it is is we are an ant colony. Yes, ants don't run away, people. I know. But trust me, this is really good. And uh, we are in a formicarium, which is this thing here, in a laboratory. And uh, Brit two British scientists are going to do some experiments on us. And the uh, assistant, I think it is, uh, he's a bit of an arsehole and he's going to mess with us a bit. Um, we can upgrade our ant colony and uh, we go off and do other missions in logs and on beaches and all sorts of stuff and yeah it's in early access it's not finished um it hasn't update for quite a while but i believe there is one coming at some point but it's it's a very small i think it's like three man dev team or something it is very small but uh, it's really good i do recommend it uh so let's go with a new form acarium what uh, color do you want to go with uh green black uh we'll go we'll go blue why not let's go blue i I think I called my other game drawing pin, but we'll just see. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's just choose a different name. Uh, I've got one. We'll go with Pin Pals. There we go, which is a Simpsons reference and incidentally what my Discord is called. So there we go. Let's jump into it. I'll try and explain it as I go. I think they might start talking, so I'll try and not to talk over them if possible. Ah, I there see the Queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Right, so there we go. That was the two voices of the scientists, and the male is a, I'd say, a bit of an arsehole, to be honest. Um, he is going to mess with us, but uh, right now we're just going to gather some food. This is our ant queen, and these are the little workers. Down here is seven workers, and then we can put them onto there, and that's a th pheromone trail, which, uh, you know, when we build soldiers and stuff, they'll be able to follow that, and they'll, they'll move to it. Um, and at the moment, we are just in this, the lab at the moment. Let's just break open the surface. We'll get the uh, workers to dig that out. There's also, we can dig tiles up here. We have a limited number of tiles. We've got 38 tiles. Uh, that's the royal jelly. That's uh, going to use for upgrade. I'll show you that in a minute. And that's our food. So think of that as like Tiberium, I guess, really. There's workers, and that's our maximum sort of soldiers. We'll get ants that spit and probably do is switching all that off but we'll just get rid of it because kind of know everything well don't know everything but uh, you know here's the upgrade tree we can use royal jelly we've only got workers at the moment and we've got to unlock the black ant uh, i think we've already got them but we need to earn royal jelly which we'll do through missions and then you know there's various perks upgrade levels etc there's a uh, like wood ants different types of wood ants and then there's leaf cutters as well that's all that's in the game at the moment uh, the food stores are full. Oh crap, no, no, no. No, no, don't do that. Uh, it's the keys to move. I keep thinking it's hold right mouse, but, uh, hold, hold left mouse button, um, but no, it's not. Uh, I think we're going to want the food near this, because this is the surface. If I just tick up here. And yeah, they're, when we do a mission or something, the uh, scientists will drop food in. Um, and uh, at the end of the mission, we can select uh, how much food we want, etc. But I think for right now, um, yeah, food stores are full. Let's build a little food store like here. And a sort of surrounding little kind of cocoon. Um, you'll get be able to upgrade the tiles. Here's the tiles up here. Uh, there's just workers at the moment. And then these are like speed tiles so we can move faster. And that's like a food storage tile. So if we put those down be able to store food on them the workers will uh, build those there we go there's like little kind of straw that's kind of cool um and then you know 
we can upgrade those and go around and that's fine but i think for what we're going to do right now is we'll just jump straight into a mission and get this ball rolling uh, there's a this uh, is a gateway mission so we need to do that and uh, the scientists will do tests on us in the lab these ones are sort of uh, other we'll go off to another place and we can dig out as many tiles i think like first one's like you're in a log um and eventually you can be like on a beach and then there's leaf cutters uh, in jungles and they just eat leaves uh so anyway let's uh jump straight to the Verton mission i think and we'll get some uh, royal jelly there we go that's fine and those are the rewards we'll get we'll get 19 extra tiles we'll get uh, 1500 food and we'll get 48 royal jelly but at the end we can add a bonus and select one of those and usually royal jelly is the way to go because that's the upgrades so uh, let's jump to it and uh, the narrator will probably jump straight in when we start digging some tiles this out. This Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. So there we go. Uh, we're in a log. Uh, we've set up a little home, but there's other nasties around, which are these exclamation marks. And I think it's there. There's some really horrible... Uh, massive beetles that spit spit acid at you, but uh, you know we'll get we'll get to all that. But let's get some food tiles in now. We can dig out as many tiles as we want on this one. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's only in the form of carrying that we have limited food and uh, or limited tiles that we can dig out. Sorry. Um, and I think we'll dig that one out as well. And then we can actually build uh, black ants, which are kind of soldiers. So uh, we definitely want those. And each each ant, each ant here, that's 20 food to place it, and then it costs two food to hatch. And that's five food to hatch it and 50 to place it. So, you know, when you're fighting and you lose one, you need five food to uh, rehatch those. They'll pop out in a second. There we go. And then we can put them on here, and then we can control them. So I think what we're going to do is just dig straight down here. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but we'll go down there. And we can, uh, you know, we can tell these soldiers to just fight, don't pick up food. Um, or we can, you know, tell them to uh, to do both or just, just fight, just pick up food, whichever one you want to do. And the same with the workers as well. And we'll just go over here. And uh, yeah, as I say, a little weird this game, but trust me, it's really good. The there workers have uncovered Found carnivorous larvae of Ochipasolens the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Yeah, so the big adults are really big badass things that will uh, spit acid at you. And uh, yeah, we don't want to mess with them just yet. But I'm pretty sure they're up in that bit that I showed you in the north of the log. And uh, eventually other levels will be able to go out onto the surface. That's like a one with a rising tide. The tide comes in every now and then and, you know, washes any ants that are unfortunate away. Uh, what are you doing now? Wish you kind of move. Right, let's dig our way here. Oh, that's a worker. Fair enough. And so we just want to keep expanding this little colony, this little nursery, as it were. There are intruders Dig through, in the nest. get all this food. Come on. Yeah, they've just killed those two workers. Or the, no, it was a soldier, wasn't it? Kill them off. Come on. And then they just pick them all up, carry them back. And they'll take them back to the food store. Or the, there's a little bit of food storage here where the queen starts. And uh, so they'll drop it there as well. Put that there. And then, to be honest, we're just going to expand this. Like so. There we go. 
And we'll dig that one out as well. Just kind of stay in that pattern. I always find that's the best way to do it. And then we can just... Oh, yeah. Do you know what? We're just going to upgrade that right now. Get some upgrades. And as you can see, we can upgrade that. And then surrounding tiles or walls will add to the upgrade points. So, yeah. It should be. It's fairly simple. Hopefully it'll all become clear. Hopefully I'm explaining it well also. So, <laughs> you know. Um, I think we're okay to just go up here. There might be enemies up there. If there are, there are. But uh, I think we're okay to take them down. So, it's... Predators are loose in the yeah, nest. Okay. The larvae must be protected. Charge, my predators. <laughs> I'm Ant-Man. <laughs> There we go, they'll all be carved away. And there we go, there's uh, some wood lice that have obviously been killed by those things. And uh, yeah, like Devil's Coach Horse, I believe those things are called. Which is uh, quite a scary name, to be honest. But uh, there you go. And yeah, they'll uh, chop bits off of the uh, wood lice. Other, other animals as well, you know, big animals, spiders, etc. will so take pieces off of them and take them back to the uh, food storage. Because everything is food. And I think we're just going to dig down there as well now. Let's dig down there. Get that food. We'll get that food. And we'll just keep expanding the nest. Let's get the uh, soldiers go. In the nest. The larvae must be protected. Take these dudes down. There we go, pile in, and then we're going to get them to just cut down here as well. As the procession of food just keeps coming back. There we go, get a couple more tiles down. Ah, it's just these, uh, it's just these little uh, wood lice worms, whatever they were, woodworm things. So that's okay. Make a nice little meal for us, so that's good. And we'll come up here, take these down. So wherever those exclamation marks, there's going to be potential enemies there. Not always. Yeah, like wood lice. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Yeah, we'll kind of flip them over. <laughs> hey. Look, there's someone over there. Go get him. And they're going to now chop bits off and take that back. So that's all good. And we'll get a few more tiles down. So there we go. They're all going to rip all those out. That's good. And we'll probably... Yeah, where are we? There. We do not want to mess with that. Not yet. We'll take out the rest of this place first before we think about going there probably could build finish off filling this uh, last couple in there we go and then we will start upgrading those tiles it's going to cost us another 50 food to do that but it's going to be worth it right let's go there and to be honest let's just get into that take that down and we'll probably dig a tunnel down to there so we can just get to the food storage a bit quicker Yeah, just wood lice, that's fine. We'll flip them over. Chew them up and we'll try and move on to the next lot. I think that might be uh, coach horses, so... Uh, we're going to want to fight those in a minute. There are intruders yeah, in the nest. Go. Let's take them down. Charge! Ah, they've got a little wood louse as well. There we go. Everything is going to get consumed. And let's just go there as well with that. It's going to be easier once we get up here. Uh, we're going to chop up those uh, those things. So yeah, we'll just uh, make a, make the path a bit easier. We can put like upgrade paths. Uh, so the speed tile, and they work exactly the same way. These are upgrade, so we can move them down. We'll do that in the form of carrying, but we probably won't bother here. It's not really worth it, I don't think. 
so long. One last word, last, but let's jump in here. Oh, we're full on food, so let's do a. There are intruders upgrades. in the nest. There we go. Try and go from up to grade three, I think. I think that usually works for me quite well. There we go. And more food for the colony. Perfect. Let them take that back. To be honest, we're just going to go in there, take those out, and then we'll take that out. Come over here, clear this area out, and then we're ready to fight that one. So, let's get a few more upgrades on the go. Predators are loose in the nest. There we go. Oh, that's the a lot of them. must be protected. Just take them all down. And then there's going to be a nice chunk of food there. The and colony we might is well starving. There as well. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Let's get rid of all those. I'll try and switch those off in the next episode because I, I don't really need them. So, kind of know what I'm doing for the most part. So there we go, the colony is not starving, but, uh, well, I suppose it is, but, you know. Procession of food, here we go, let's get up there and we'll get these wood loaves. And then we'll cut across, take this stuff out, and then, yeah, this is then the final battle for this. Just tear it up. We'll let those uh, get ripped to bits, and then we'll uh, we'll put some upgrades down here. Try and get everybody upgraded to level three. And if we've got any got any more uh, food left, we'll start making some workers. But I don't think we're going to have any, so uh, that, that's fine. And then we'll perhaps do a bit of work in the formicarium and uh, show you a bit of that as well once we finish. But we'll see how long this takes. We're not finished yet. Uh, slowly bringing the food back. Let's just keep on upgrading. There you go. Those are all up to level three. Level three is the highest. And we're still tearing up. There's a few couple of wood louse left. And yeah. They'll then disappear like that one just did. He's having a go. I think only like one person only one work oh one ant can sort of harvest it at a time. So we're going to leave that. I'm just going to go across there. And to be honest, we're just going to go there as well. Might be a bit quicker. Got some of these bits out so we can just get down here a bit quicker. Uh, he's going to break through. Oh, well. Sacrifices for the colony. There are intruders in the nest. Oh. There we go. I may have overstretched on this one. We gotta get down here quick, man. Damn, they're gonna attack the uh, I may have overstretched. Oh dear. Come on boys. Charge there we go. Pins of movement we got, yeah. Actually that worked out alright, they're really nice and close to the food source or the food store, so that's that worked out well. Yeah, if the Quint get Queen gets killed then obviously game over, so yeah, don't wanna do that. So Let's cut through there next and we've got three pockets of food left and then we've got this big final fight and I think we should have enough for some rest of these upgrades so remember we're going to need to store food because these cost uh, five food to spawn every time so if you're in a big fight you're going to need a reserve of food so uh, you definitely don't want to just spend it all because then there you can't get any more reinforcements the oh. damn that's a lot of them isn't it Come on. Take them down, my pretties. <laughs> there we go. We got them. And then I don't think there's anything there, much of a threat there, so we'll just cut our way through there as well. Oh, there's still, uh, there's still stuff there, actually. Okay, they're eating the... Uh... Oh, it's just maggots. Fair enough. That's fine. We'll take all this food down. Tear all that out, to be honest. Let's take all that as well. Let's do that, and then it's probably a bit quicker. Food's going out. There we go. Let's uh, finish those upgrades. Uh, that one might not upgrade because it's 
don't, don't know the best there actually but oh well yeah that one won't upgrade oh well I haven't quite placed it should have been there really but never mind could just drop another one in I guess we've got uh, we've got the spare food we'll definitely do that okay so let's go there because we've just got one more to do oh food stores are full oh damn okay uh let's put another there are intruders in the nest put another one down and then we might just chuck a few workers down actually uh, there's not really anywhere else to put them that's good oh, we could do that there maybe um again we kind of want enclosed areas really um could do that that'd be okay i think because uh, we can't really uh yeah we can't store anything else but we can do that one don't think that one will upgrade but we'll upgrade them as high as we can and yeah that's fine also yeah we'll only get a level two on that one but that's okay oh no we don't want that so is that all the food gone from there a few little bits left there so I think uh, we might um, do you know we'll put like a few workers in I think just a little group nothing nothing too nothing too huge we still want uh, food reserves um, but they can just be a little bit of an extra attack uh, well, we might might do some upgrades on these guys the workers have done all they can to prepare this brood yeah, chamber I know. sorry there we go upgraded all of those so I think that's all the food we've got there's nothing else left I can't see anything so we'll open up and we'll let the big devil's coach horses out and uh, just try and kill them we've got plenty of uh, food as well so we should be okay for reinforcements but uh, you know you have a big battle on your hands that that food reserve goes down quick so uh, yeah let's tear this open we'll do two just so we've got a bit there of are intruders in the nest. there it is look at it big thing spits at you disorientates the my guys have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach but horse beetle into pieces, so and that's it's hungry good. for breakfast the beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of external armor whilst it bites at the oh, tiny damn, defenders it sprays foul smelling great, secretions yeah. from the end of its raised there. abdomen disorientating like the ants. Wrong there, but anyway. oh well um Just upgrade that, I guess, and we'll put a few more down. But not too many, because uh, yeah, that's fine. Don't want—I don't want to go too. I think we might be okay. Yeah, we should be okay. That's fine. And I mean, what we can do is just tell those worker ants there to just collect food don't fight when we do this fight and they'll come in and just try and get some extra uh... there we go they'll just try and get some extra food but to be honest we could probably just get them in the wave as well but yeah we've got like five pheromones anyway so you know now five different groups so let's break this sucker open and let's fight and there's going to be a lot of these things there are in there. intruders in the nest there we go Ugh. two of the buggers Ugh, ugly things. Get them there. I'm pretty sure I can. I like disorientating. I'm sure there's a. Probably a not in the options is like health and stuff to be shown. So, where's that button? I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. You can probably see little question marks on them. They're sort of disorientating my uh, ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Oh, it's no, it's called not. to provide food to support dozens of new brood. That one's not dead. There we go. A few of my, mine are dead, but there we go. 
Level's done. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. So there we go. And here we go. We get to choose a reward, um, which is extra royal jelly, um, extra food, or extra territory. And as I say, at the moment, I, I would recommend getting the uh, jelly, because that's for the upgrade. So you definitely want that. So uh, there we go. Let's get that. We can carry on playing it, but we'll just end the level, because why not? And there we go. There's a bunch of achievements as well, but we didn't get any of those. And uh, yeah, that was good. So return to the formicarium, and then food will be dumped on the, the surface. There you go. The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. Just let I them talk. The colony is beginning to adapt. So yeah, there we go. And um, I don't think we can afford the. Uh, we can't afford to unlock it yet, can we? Yeah, we need to do the next level. So uh, that costs 75 Royal Jelly to open that up. And, I mean, we could try and do the challenge after the next one, but to be honest, you're probably going to have to grind those levels a couple of times. Um, just because that's the way it is. Oh, there's still some food there. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do, because we've now got some extra tiles that we can dig out, um, we will... Just trying to think of a place to put them. Let's have a look. Um... Probably put like the workers down here. Let's dig some of those out. There we are. That's fine. Nice little worker tiles. There we go. I'll take some of that food back as well. We'll get a load of workers in. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. There we are. Then we'll get those workers out on the surface to collect all that food. There's like a few like little maggots and you know eventually there'll be like some wood louse or something like that. And uh, yeah and the former carrying as well I think I forgot to mention this. Uh, there's these pipes here because you can see we're in a we're in a lab so, uh, so we're on a desk and you know, coffee cup there we go and these pipes will feed in various uh, animals insects that they're going to throw at us, other ants, spiders, etc. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, great game. Really good game. And uh, let's let's dig out uh, some more of this, I think. Might be a bit close to that queen, actually, but hope we're okay. Oh, no, don't, don't do that. Cancel that. Let's get the rest of those in. Can't build any more, and we'll upgrade. Well, we can't upgrade them because we have to buy, uh, you know, we have to buy these upgrades, which we could buy, but I want to open the black ant, so we'll get with that next. And then we kind of want to upgrade everybody. So what we need to do really is get these guys to come up here, collect a, collect all this food, bring it back, and then we can start, you know, upgrading. Um. So yeah, I think what I'll, I think what I'll do is I'll probably just do the rest of this off camera. So I'm just going to fill this little area in here, and then my uh, my ants are just going to come back and forth and uh, just collect all the seeds that they've dropped from that uh, level. And there's a couple of a couple of little grubs as well, and uh, we'll build those, and then we'll uh, come back probably upgrade the uh, probably upgrade the food storage a bit more. There we go. Upgrade that as much as we can. Right well, there. No, let's just. Uh, it's probably not going to take that long to put all these uh, tiles in. We can there we go? Let's drop them all in, and then I'll uh, I'll end the episode, and I'll just carry on taking the rest of this food off. Uh, there's nothing really much to see, and then we'll uh, we'll launch into the next uh, next uh, level in the next episode. So yeah, there we go. That's all of those in, and then they'll go and get some eggs from the queen, and then bring them back, and they'll grow, pop, and then we'll just uh, finish off getting the rest of that, and that's all good. And then I will. Well, no, I can't. As I, say, I can't actually upgrade any of them yet, but I guess we could spend a little bit. But I think we'll wait till the next one. That's that's fine the way it is. So we'll upgrade that. 
we'll probably expand the uh, food storage area as well and we'll probably put the soldiers like over here somewhere so they've got quick access to get out or maybe even here um, so they can get out and I'll probably just do like pods of like this you know That's probably how I'll work it um, so yeah that's uh, that's kind of it really I think we'll uh, we'll leave that there and I shall just finish off collecting that food and we'll dig that out and I'll probably put some more food tiles down because uh, food's uh, food's full so I think we're going to call this one here anyway and in the episode and I shall carry on collecting the rest of that food and get ready for the next step next uh, level I think so uh, yeah I'm going to call this one here anyway in the episode so if you like that one please give me a thumbs up comment with your thoughts down below subscribe for more I really do appreciate it stay safe out there people and I'll catch you next time